Good evening and welcome. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by senior choir members Ava Archileo, Silas Jones, and Kayla Lester, led by Miss Melanie Frere. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets ran Thank you, and please be seated. To give the class of 2023 welcome, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the co-presidents of the class of 2023, Jocelyn Prieto and Jameson Grant. Good evening, family, friends, classmates, mentors, and other distinguished guests. I am Jocelyn Prieto. And I am Jameson Grant. We are the co-presidents of East Hampton High School's graduating class of 2023, and it is our very pleasure to be speaking in front of you all tonight. This is actually the third significant time Jameson and I have encountered each other. The first was in daycare when we would constantly be mad at each other because we would fight over a boy. The second being in fourth grade, when we were each other's sisters in our school's opera. I mean, the resemblance is, resemblance is uncanny. And now, here we are, standing beside 200 brilliant individuals who have overcome so many challenges, formed many new friendships, and pushed to become the best versions of themselves. Although a major bump in the road caused us not to be together for half of our high school experience, it is safe to say that we as a class have aimed to make the absolute best of these four years, even if we had to take a few more Advil from the headaches after sitting in front of a Chromebook all day, or scream across our lunch table so our friends could hear us through those plastic glass walls at the lunch tables. Still, despite all these hardships, we've developed amazing stories and have achieved so many goals and accomplishments. We have students in these stands who have spread the joy of learning in this school by creating and participating in the bilingual tutoring program. Athletes, artists, and musicians joining some amazing programs in college. Driven individuals entering the workforce or serving our country. And many academically inclined individuals. So I think it's safe to say that we have, a, have an exceptionally talented class filled with incredible young adults and we thank you parents, teachers, siblings, and mentors for nurturing us during this chapter of our lives. Much like the funny little story on how Jameson and I met, we're confident that the class graduating tonight holds several humorous experiences with classmates over the last 12 or more years. It's memories like these that have kept our grade and community together. Although tonight may mark the last time many of us will see each other in such an environment, it is the start of a new chapter where we can make new memories in whatever we have chosen to pursue beyond high school. 
It has been such an honor to be co-presidents for this class. And shout out to Shimkus and Ms. Rayner for putting up with all of us for four years, organizing events and making a lot of these memories possible. And on behalf of each and every graduate up here, we would like to give a huge thank you. Teachers, thank you for opening our minds and expanding our creativity and knowledge further than we ever could have imagined. Administrators, thank you for always being willing to listen to our wants and desires and putting in copious amounts of effort to make the high school experience at East Hampton amazing. Parents, thank you for guiding us through life and allowing us to become who we are today. If it weren't for you, I'm sure that there are many of us, myself included, who wouldn't have been able to grow so far out of the shell that they were in as they entered these doors for the first time four years ago. And to all of you graduates, thank you for being the best group of people we could have experienced all of this with. These are memories that will truly last a lifetime. We, kn we know that all of you have worked so hard to be sitting in a cap and gown today. And we know that you will do even greater things in the real world. So congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you. And welcome to the class of 2023 graduation. We would not be here tonight without the collective efforts of so many people. To name a few, I'd like to thank the members of our Board of Education for their strong leadership that sets a civilized and progressive tone for the entire school community. Superintendent Adam Fine and Assistant Superintendents Tim Fromm and Sam Schneider for their unwavering support this year. Assistant Principals Jill Collins and Ralph Naglieri for being the best team anyone could ask for. Senior class advisors, Matt Shimkus and Carly Rayner for their dedication to the class of 2023. Members of our high school clerical team, without whom tonight definitely would not have happened. Marcia Diaz, Vanessa Takuri, Steph Otto, Cindy Derenberg, Joan Cangiolosi, Tanya Gregg, Andrea Vera, and Val Bates. Our custodial and grounds crew for their hard work all week, especially with putting up the tent. And as I've said so many times, so much of what we do here at school ends up on kitchen tables and in living rooms. So thank you, the parents and families, for being true partners in education and raising such good people. Yes. <laughs> A couple more. And thank you to our teachers, guidance counselors, and staff of East Hampton High School for inspiring and supporting the class of 2023, and for collectively making East Hampton High School a place where students want to be. And lastly, I would like to thank the students for being a spectacular class. It has been an honor and a privilege to be your principal. I have loved coming to work every day, largely because of you. I look at all of you and I immediately consider you to be builders. Over and over again throughout the year, you have created something where there was nothing. To remind you all of what you have built, you created a bilingual peer tutoring program that not only helped our newly arrived students academically, but also showed them the ins and outs of life in Bonnick. You have built East Hampton's first ever culinary program. At the beginning of your junior year, many of you took a leap of faith on a curriculum that's kinks had to be worked out and a kitchen that still had to be finished to pursue your passion for cooking and the hospitality industry. Two years later, many of you are heading off to college and majoring in culinary. And you should be very proud that you made the coolest cookies in the history of cookies for junior prom this year. And you have built and taken science research to the next level, putting bonic science on the map all over Long Island and New York State. And you blew the entire community away with your science research symposium this year. In sports, you built East Hampton's first ever unified bowling team 
making sure that all athletes get to experience what it feels like to be part of a team. You literally built a school in Guatemala with the Build On Trip, ensuring Ensuring all children have access to education, regardless of where they live. You were builders, even down to your senior prank. Who knew such elaborate tents could be constructed on school grounds, on an asphalt parking lot, nonetheless? As you move beyond life in East Hampton, continue to harness and use your builder's spirit for good. Look for the holes to be filled, Create a sense of community where there isn't one, and always leave places better than you found them. Like I did in the yearbook, I wanted to share with you a story that resonated with me that you may want to carry with you as you move beyond here. A friend of mine, Mike DiPietro, is a Green Beret. For those of you not familiar with that term, that means that he is a member of the Army's elite forces. He currently leads the teams that oversees all special operations in Africa. He's in charge of rescue missions, like rescuing an 83-year-old nun who was captured in Niger, as well as capture missions and classified missions. On the anniversary of 9-11, he spoke to his former elementary school about service. And he said, I want to pass on some advice that I always give to my soldiers. For them, I think it applies whether they're writing an email or fighting in a valley in Afghanistan. Leave no doubt. Leave no doubt that you're the best you can be. Leave no doubt about caring for someone. Leave no doubt that in everything you do, you did everything you could, as hard as you could, until you couldn't do it anymore. Leave no doubt. Over the four years you have had here at East Hampton High School, you have left no doubt in so many areas. You have left no doubt about your academic excellence, from your impressive college acceptances to your packed schedules, skipping lunches to take another class. You left no doubt that you are inclusive and compassionate in everything you do be it marching in the Pride Parade or participating in Inclusion Rec Club every Wednesday afternoon. You have left no doubt that though you hail from a small town, you are citizens of the world. You have left no doubt that you understand and appreciate what it means to be part of a community with collectively more than 18,030 community service hours. Yes. <laughs> and as you move forward with your lives, I encourage you to take this notion of leave no doubt with you. Leave no doubt about your sense of kindness and compassion for those who come in and out of your lives. Whenever there is a chance to help out the less fortunate, the underdog, or those on the fringes, take it. Your choice to do so will come back to you tenfold. In both romantic and platonic relationships, leave no doubt about your own self-worth and never settle for anything less than what you know you deserve. As you flee the nest of home, whether it be for the workforce, for the military, or for college, leave no doubt that you are a person of honesty and integrity, even in the absence of your parents, and surround yourself with similarly upstanding people. Leave no doubt that you are lifelong learners and that your education does not stop with your schooling. Revel in the fact that there's always more to be mastered, more to be accomplished, more to be understood. And I can tell you that there is no doubt you are walking into a world where there is no shortage of complexities and chaos. Human rights violations continue all over the globe. Political division is at an all-time high. But in the face of this, I have faith that the East Hampton community, your parents, your teachers, your coaches, your employers, your leaders in worship, have given you the tools necessary to face these challenges head on. We've taught you to think critically and to formulate your own opinions. 
We've taught you that nothing can replace hard work. And we've taught you that your greatest source of strength is to lead with compassion and kindness. Take this bonic spirit with you, whether you are heading to work, to boot camp, or to college. In closing, I will leave you with the same favorite quote I shared with last year's class. A ship in the harbor is safe, but that is not why ships are built. I think I speak for the school, the community, and your parents when I say that it has been an honor and a privilege to be your safe harbor for the past 18 years. And if we had our druthers, we would keep you here forever. But unfortunately, that is not the way this works. So as you chart your course and begin your journey, we wish you luck, love, happiness, and joy in all the adventures that await you. Thanks. <laughs> And now, it is my great pleasure to introduce our senior chorus members, led by Mrs. Melanie Frere, for their performance of A Friend of Mine, an original song by our very own and very talented Silas Jones.
good one. Thank you. Thank you. And again, that was an original song by Silas. <laughs> At this point, it is my sincere honor to introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2023, Arian Chug. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. Um, it, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but um, let's have a round of applause for the graduating class of 2023. Uh, before I get started, today is a very special day, not only because we're all graduating, but it is also Ava's 18th birthday. There are pictures of us at country school graduation, and there will be pictures of us at high school graduation, and between those two points, Ava's been one of my best friends, so it makes me really happy that I can give her a special birthday message today. Four years at East Hampton High School have gone by with the blink of an eye. Um, having the opportunity to reflect on them makes me really appreciate each and every memory that I have made here. But before I discuss those, I just want to thank a few people. Uh, like Mrs. Smith said, I want to thank the entire administration, uh, Mr. Fine, Mr. Fromm, Mr. Schneider, uh, Mrs. Smith, Mr. Naglieri, and Ms. Collins for all that you do to make this place not just a school, but a community that makes Bonnick what it truly is. It's clear that you care about us as people above students, and our community benefits tremendously from that. Oh, and actually, now that it's summer, we have another uh, administrator in the house, Principal Shim. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Shim, you've been a baseball coach, a tutor, a class advisor, a, a cornhole tournament partner, and above all, a mentor and the person I come to for all the advice that I need. And to be on the Principal Shim journey with you from the beginning to its end has been an incredible honor. Uh, with that being said, I want to thank our amazing class advisors, uh, Ms. Rayner and Principal Shim, once again, um, for a remarkable four-year experience. Your, de your dedication to this class made our experience unlike any other. The rush of the burger line at homecoming, I think, will still be one of my favorite memories as I get older. And I don't think that any class will ever top the 4 a.m. barbecue that we pulled for the senior carnival. Every fundraiser, every event leading up to banquet last night has been a blast. And that is solely because of your love for us, your brilliant ideas, and your unparalleled humor when you guys are together. Next, I want to thank every teacher and member of the East Hampton High School community who made my experience so special. You all seriously impacted my life, and I wish I had the time to thank each one of you individually. I do, however, want to especially thank Dr. Rabita. From the first day of my freshman year to today, you've been a mentor for me both in and out of the classroom. I don't think my parents have heard more stories about anyone other than you. I think the answer to how was school today, every day for the last four years, has revolved around the nuance of taking care of plants, something that my mom still has not grasped to this day. The ins and outs of Hardy-Weinberg equations and the cell cycle, and whatever ridiculous cat-hating joke that you made that day. Oh, and there's also the time that we print out and cut those paper chromosomes for hours, and you got really mad at me for losing a bunch of them. I really couldn't be more thankful for all that you've done for me the last four years. I also want to give a special shout out to Dr. Swickard and Mr. Stewart, two people that I've had the privilege of learning from over the past four years, and whose impact on this school is greater than anyone that I can think of. I wish you the very best in retirement, though I know that the community will really miss you. And finally, I want to thank my parents and my family who have instilled in me work ethic, a love of learning, and above all, character. Mom, I'm not the only one on this stage who will say that you are the most caring mother in the world. You've been a, ro you've been a rock for me and many of my friends, and I will be eternally grateful for that. And your cooking's really good, too, actually. <laughs> 
Dad, your inability to be satisfied and belief that the job is never finished are attributes that I aspire to emulate. You're, you are the true American success story, and it, your success is a testament to your drive and determination. Amen. <laughs> We've had our disagreements, but I'm so glad that we've become best friends. I think I'll miss you the most next year. I th next year, the biggest adjustment for me will be life without the wafting sense of paneer through the house, talks around the dinner table, and daily hugs. All right, so now that I'm done with all that, I'll actually get to what I was supposed to say. <laughs> when I began thinking about what I wanted to tell today, I kind of struggled. It's hard to come up with wisdom that I, as an 18-year-old about to step into the unknown, have to impart on a group of other 18-year-olds that are stepping foot into the unknown. As I reflected on my time at East Hampton High School, I thought of so many significant moments. I could ride the beaten path and talk about how we overcame a pandemic, or I could talk about how my struggles in PA should be a lesson on how to keep working hard and to never give up. But then as I contemplated the responsibility that I have to bestow unto you guys invaluable life lessons, I realized that my time at East Hampton almost never happened. For the entirety of my school career, and Mr. Tupper is here so he can confirm, I've been obsessed with my grades. My goal in life was solely to attend a prestigious university and become a cardiothoracic surgeon. As everyone knows, when you have those goals, the most important thing in life is having hundreds on every New Zella assignment that you do in fifth grade. I was so dedicated to these goals that, for a number of reasons, in eighth grade I became convinced that the only way to achieve them was to attend a private New England prep school. Actually, I think Dr. Hartnett remembers my application process. It was my belief that East Hampton High School just simply couldn't facilitate my aspirations. I did very minimal research on this uh, idea and really set my heart on it. And as I did with everything else, I dove in completely. I studied like a madman. I drafted, edited, and polished essays to perfection. I practiced for stellar interviews, and I thought that I did it. After memorizing three vocabulary books, that's not an exaggeration, scoring in the 98th percentile on the admissions exam, and performing as I believed exceedingly well in my interviews and through my essays, I was confident that I would gain admission to a school of my liking. In fact, I was actually so confident that my family stayed the night in Boston the night before we got the decisions so that we could visit campus when I got my acceptances. On the morning of decision day, I woke up and I opened six rejection or waitlist offers. None of the schools that I applied to and wanted to go to said yes. And to say the least, I was devastated. I had done everything in my power to get what I wanted. My grades were stellar, my recommendations glowing, every box that needed to be checked was. Still, each time I opened the emails to reread and make sure that I didn't misread it the first time, I saw the phrase, we regret to inform you that. I couldn't explain it. But it turns out that there was an explanation. I came to East Hampton High School that fall with a vendetta. I was going to make it their mistake that they said no to me. Because of that, I got involved in every single thing that I could. East Hampton High School gave me an experience that I would not trade for the world. It challenged me academically, forged my best friendships, and certainly left its mark on my life. Between concert, symphonic, and jazz bands, Mr. Mandato and Mr. Howe helped me develop my musical skill and passion in so many ways. My discombobulated entry, exit, and then re-entry into AP Lit rekindled my childhood love of reading. Because of Dr. Forsberg, I will never put curved edges on research poster boxes ever again. Ms. Helfand's class made me really resent French toast for a while. Every year, we dominated the regional quiz bowl tournament with Mr. Hamer. Half all the hills definitely cheated, though. I got to be part of an unprecedented last seed run to the, sem to the county semifinals with the Bonnick Barristers mock trial team. Sorry. I got to help build a school with Mr. Barber, Mama Ja, and my Trek family on our build on, to on, our, on our build on trip to Guatemala. And I actually found out today that the school has been completed and classes have begun in it. Sorry. As I'm sure many of us could, I could go on forever about my favorite moments here. This place truly was the best thing that happened to me. The activities I became involved in, the knowledge I gained, and the relationships I've developed are irreplaceable. 
East Hampton High School's community brings people together and fosters an environment of success, and I am blessed to have been a part of it. But what about my goals? Because it was supposed to be impossible for me to achieve them having gone to East Hampton High School. Well, in the fall, I'll be going to one of my top choice universities to study biology on the pre-med track. So I attained my goals, and I got there on the path that was right for me. Though I saw the end of the world as I read rejection after rejection, something bigger was at play. I didn't know it at the time, but I was supposed to come to East Hampton High School. I've had the privilege to learn from and grow close with so many people here, from my friends in the guidance office, to my teachers, my classmates, and my perfect friend group. Every single day has been new and exciting because of the people I became surrounded by. You made my time in high school the best time of my life. As I look behind me to see the class that I made this journey with, I see 200 intelligent young adults off to a variety of different paths, and I can't express how sad I am to say goodbye to them. But that said, I'm simultaneously so excited not only to see what life has to offer me, but to see all the incredible things that you guys have yet to accomplish. I've learned many valuable lessons here, as I'm sure you all have. Personally, my favorite is one that I will never forget. It is the seven Ps. And as you head forth, I hope you carry this message with you. Many of you, like me, have an idea for what you want your future to look like. And many of you believe you know what the, what the path to that future entails. As you go on to grow into the incredible people you will one day become, I urge you to not get too set in your ways. Everything happens for a reason. And as such, what seems like a failure one day may turn out to be the biggest blessing of your life. If you continue to work hard the way you have for the last four years, everything will work itself out. Don't ever get blinded by the perfect or the right path, because I assure you, you have no idea what's actually in store for you. Class of 2023, when ikimus, wikimus. We came, we saw, and we conquered. The mark that we have left on this school will be, on, will be everlasting. The imprint will be irreparable, and the memories we've made will be unforgettable. I'm so thankful to have had the honor of speaking at our ceremony today. It has been a privilege and an honor to be a, to be a member of the class of 2023. And so with that, Biscus, out. Thank you, Arian. And now it is with great pleasure and respect that I introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2023, Nicole Velez. Good evening. I would like to start off by thanking everyone in attendance for simply being here. The support many of you provided to our entire class is not overlooked. We thank you for making our last year here at East Hampton High School one of the most memorable ones yet. Your support is what made this year unforgettable. That was verbatim the way I commenced my speech four years ago at East Hampton Middle School. A lot has changed since then, but these words remain true. As the class of 2023 stands here looking out to the audience, I am certain that each and every one of us can identify a parent, a friend, a mentor, a teacher that made a difference in our lives and were integral to getting us here today. And for that, we owe you a round of applause. There were infinite amounts of topics that I would have liked to discuss today. But given the circumstances, one set out far beyond the rest. My identity as an Ecuadorian American, the first generation of my family to have been born and raised in this great country. My parents immigrated from Ecuador separately some 30 years ago. By some measures, they are amongst the first few waves of Latino immigrants to inhabit the east end of Long Island. My parents were fortunate to have arrived in the land of opportunity at a time when it was far more feasible to become legal residents and homeowners. Sadly, I cannot say the same opportunities were afforded to those who came in the following decades. Yet, growing up, I always had the luxury of being surrounded by a vibrant, loving, and accepting Latino community even though they were often hurting from the injustices they faced as part of their everyday lives. But no one ever complained, for the United States was the biggest blessing, citizen or not, they were ever granted. 
the ability to bestow food and shelter and an education on their children was all they ever longed for. Just living in this country was a dream come true. My parents, for one, always valued education above all else. I grew up hearing stories about how my father moved away from his parents at age six to continue going to school, and how by high school he found himself working in the day to be able to go to school at night. I was, even as a little girl, inspired by my father's genuine love of learning and his tenacity and enthusiasm in pursuing higher education. I wanted to be just like him. And it wasn't until years later that I cared enough to find out what my mother's story was. Why did she care about education? My mother was the oldest daughter born to a traditional and poor Ecuadorian family. It hurts me to say that while her older brother was afforded an education, hers never advanced grade school because she was born a female. When her parents had to decide who got the education, her brother was always given priority. Thus, my mother's dream, like that of the aforementioned many, was to work hard and to provide for her family in some other fashion. But most importantly, it was to give her future children equal access to a world-class education. And for her, that meant coming to the United States. I am proud of my mother, the woman who, for example, paid for the private education of her younger sisters who are now overwhelmingly college-educated teachers in Ecuador. Although she was not given the chance to prosper through education, she made it a feasible opportunity for those who followed suit. My mother, a woman who has given, me, who has given nothing but has given me everything, is a true champion of education. And I would not be here as a valedictorian who is headed to Yale without her. As we near the end of a chapter in our lives, I urge the class of 2023 to not only reflect on their own efforts, but also on the efforts of those who aided in the arrival of this achievement. We truly could not have done this without the helping hands of others. I am proud of our class, and I am certain that our futures shine bright. But if there is anything to remember, it is that our East Hampton community fostered our success and rejoices at the thought of our growth. We will always have a home in East Hampton. I would now like to continue in Spanish. Fue muy importante que por lo menos una porción de mi recurso sea leído en español. Una persona, el señor Hartnett, me dijo unos años atrás que no hay hambre ni esfuerzo que se puede conocer como lo que demuestran los niños de primera generación, los hijos de inmigrantes latinos. Yo, como tantos jóvenes latinos que nos graduamos hoy, damos las muchas gracias a nuestros padres y a nuestras familias por regalarnos las oportunidades que ustedes nunca tuvieron. Algunos tal vez cruzaron la frontera, vivieron en pobreza, o siguen experimentando con el racismo o la falta de respeto por medio de sus ocupaciones. Pero gracias a eso, a sus muchos esfuerzos, nos permiten una mejor vida. Y me da pena que ahora, presentemente, no pueda hacer nada para mejorar sus vidas. Me da pena que mi mamá se sienta avergonzada que por su trabajo no se pueda pintar las uñas o dejárselas crecer. Me da pena que mi mamá se sienta triste de ser la madre de una banderada porque ella nunca pudo terminar la escuela. Me da pena que mi padre se sienta que tal vez yo tenga vergüenza por su ocupación. Pero lo quiero decir hoy, hablando por todos los jóvenes latinos que nos graduamos, nunca habrá un día donde nuestros padres y nuestras familias no sean el oro de nuestro mundo. Aunque no lo digamos frecuentemente, todo lo que hacemos nosotros es para ustedes. Yo, como tantos, debo todo mi éxito a mis padres trabajadores, Y jamás me voy a sentir nada menos que orgullo por ser latina. Mis padres no tuvieron nada, pero me dieron todo. Y por eso estoy aquí. Crean siempre que sí se puede. Muchas gracias.
Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite to the stage the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Adam Fine, and the President of the Board of Education, Mr. J.P. Foster, to begin our presentation of diplomas. Nicole Alexandra Velez. Arian Chug. Jameson Lee Grant. Jocelyn Annabelle Prieto. Gabrielle Elizabeth Miller. Ella Kate Eggert. Pedro Scott Albin. Iverson Germain Alcero Jimenez. Toby Zabel Allen. Karen Estefania Alvarez Pinante. James Paul Amadin V. Calum Lee Anderson. <laughs> Ava Mia Archileo. <laughs> Eric Alexander Armijos Calle. Maximilian Allen Estillian. Amaya Marie Astor. Kira Atwell. Brandon Alexander Avila. Sebastian Miguel Avila. Edwin Sebastian Bacolima Calle. Steve Juan Bacolima Gavalanes.
Kitsia Balong. Melody Smith Barrett. Abigail Francesca Barros Mora. Egan Robert Barzillet. Amaya Angeli Bennett. Alyssa Lee Benton. Madison Lynn Bistrian. Bay Lindsay Bogetti. Alyssa Jean Brabant. Cassidy Ann Brabant. Gabriella Martina Bravo Plaza. Angie Selena Bravo Delgado. Jadolfries Javier Bremen. Jane Bannon Briarly. Alexander Salim Brito. Sierra Francis Brown. Benjamin Barnaby Buckout. Georgia Margaret Bunce. Ian Nicholas Burge. Finian Alfred Burns. Edgar David Cabrera Pilco. Richard Patricio Cajamarca. Jose Calderon. Franklin Calderon. Brianna Jeneth Calle Boror. Eric Robbie Calle. Dylan Steven Camacho. Lonnie Cardona. Mariana Carreno Marin. Anthony Sebastian Castillo Mendez. Cooper Allen Siva. Alma Michelle Chacon Espinoza.
Daniela Chavez. Natasha Alexa Chavez. Rohando Chad Charrington. Sadoko McCollum Cober. Jesse Travis Cohen. Chloe Louise Coleman. Jamie Adela Calaguazo Tame. Carolina Ivy Condon. Nicholas Christopher Cordon. Natalia Correa. David Andrew Criolo Mejia. Kylie Marie Quaya. Emily Nohemi Cubero. Riley Cullen. Caden Isaac Daig. William James Darrell. Maya Suzanne Del Percio. Jack Prentice Dickinson. Caroline Elizabeth DeSuno. Ni Tui Yun. Luis Guillermo Duran Rivas. Hunter Allen Eberhardt. Madison Grace Elfline. Edwin Rogelio Espinoza Flores. Ariana Mia Estrella Neat. Michael Anthony Figueroa. Emily Pamela Flores. Cole Francis Gaines. Grady Garcia. Yesenia Garcia.
Joseph Garcia Jimenez. Fatu Bintu Gay. Lucy Jane Geisinger. Akeliana Grace Gilbert. Sylvia Jeanette Gomez Pulgarin. Jonathan Santiago Gonzalez. Karen Gonzalez. Dennis Steven Guanga Olea. Jasmine Guarin. Jack Wilson Guerrero. Amy Angelica Goucher Reyes. Leslie Emily Goucher. Giuseppe Gian Guidi. Evelyn Adriana Gunke Gunke. Joanna Gutierrez. Kayla Lynn Guzman. Cameron Marie Hatch. Minerva Hernandez Escalante. Jared Ishmael Hernandez Guzman. Andrew Herrera Correa. Sienna Lily Hirschman. Daniel Alejandro Jimenez. Shannon Michael Wayne Jones Jr. Silas Warren Jones. Summer Diane Jones. Gabriella Luna Carl. Emma Castrati. Emily Grace Kennedy. Ni Gia Q. Jenna Lynn King. Summer Angel Clarman.
Jack C. Lamanda. Nicholas Cameron Lerner. Daniel Matthew Lester. Kayla Lillian Lester. Lua Tamis Lee. Alexander Richard Lombardo. Erin Abigail Luna. Sang Kwok Lu. Richard Anthony Mayo III. Perla Clara Mancia. Alfonso Marin. Larissa Marin. Maya Morelli Marie Martin Beniquez. Elijah David Martinez. Claire Eileen McGovern. Jason Walter McKenna. Justin Dennis McKenna. Miriam Leticia Mejia Sinchi. So I do it now? No. Okay. Grace Lynn Merkert. Ella Blue Miller. Naya Minardi. Great job. Jamie Jill Morgan. Marco Antonio Moscoso. Isabel Alexandra Mulhern. Sophia Jane Nagel. Jocelyn D. Narvez Gutierrez. Andres Narvez. Diana Faith Nicoletti. Eric Ocampo. Kevin Ocampo. Amy Camilla Oriana. Santiago Orozco Calderon. Paola Ortiz Perez. Nashley Osorio Salinas. Dereese Nayeli Pena. Nashley Naomi Penafiel. Valentina Perez Ortiz. Tiffany Jamila Pesantes. Jack Colton Pachaitis. Sydney Taylor Proctor. Alexia Pucha. Tiffany Diana Kishbi Loha. Manuela Ramirez. Armando Rangel Guzman. William Allen Rayner. Luke Warren Reese. 
Scout Reinbooth Lynch. <laughs> Melanie Christina Reyna Gusnier. <laughs> Edward Andres Reyos Santos. <laughs> Isaiah Edward Robbins. <laughs> Sarah Araceli Rodas Urgiles. Dei Rodriguez Mai. <laughs> Daisy Bridget Rojas Barrera. <laughs> Daniel Sebastian Romero Ducci. <laughs> Mateo Fernando Romero Ducci. <laughs> Daniel Andrew Rosano. Thomas Edmund Rowan. Emily Esther Ryan. Sophia Sanchez. Nicholas Stephen Schaefer. Joseph Percival Scully, Jr. Cassandra Maria Serrano. <laughs> Raymond N. Seguencia. <laughs> Mackenzie Rose Simons. <laughs> John Kevin Sirinala. <laughs> Lily Helena Osborne Summers. Trevor Jacob Stahecki. Casey Lee Stumpf. Kenny Eric Sukulanda. Kedward, um, Kevin Edward Sumba Chukigwanga. Olivia Grace Suter. Chloe Pamina Swickard. Tenzin Naima Tamang. Sky Louise Tansman. Luke Townsend Tarbit. Emma Rose Terry. Daniel Eduardo Torres. Melena Torres. Sophia Jacqueline Tucci. Colin Leonard Tyrrell. Joshua Isaac Vargas. <laughs> Pamela Alexandra Vasquez Alvarezine. <laughs> Sebi Margaret Ann Verde. <laughs> Nicole Del Cisne Via Barros. <laughs> Colin Cotter Vellante. <laughs> Odalis Yadira Viscara Nunez. Erin Mackenzie Waldron. Terrence Kevin Wallace III. Isabella Rose Walsh. Seth Theodore Webb. Charles Edward Weimer III.
Rosa Mariana Yanis. Benjamin Lewis Zazula. Ava Teresa Zeladon. Aldo Anthony Shagwe. It is my honor to introduce the president and vice president of the East Hampton High School Student Association, Gabby Miller and Ella Eggert, to give the stats of the class. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Good evening. As she said, my name is Gabby, uh, Gabby Miller, and I am the 2022-2023 Student Association President. And I'm Ella Egger, your Student Association Vice President. You know what, guys? Hang on one second. Yeah. We're going to give you one second. Oh. <laughs> we can do a dance or something for you, if you want. <laughs> You'll see it in a second, okay? You'll see it in a second. It's also Aldo's birthday. Aldo's, Aldo, Aldo. Slay as he walks past. Okay. We're good? Okay, so I'm Gabby and this is Ella. Uh, this isn't our first time performing together. When we were little, we used to, out on the beach, shout out my sister, we used to dance to some Justin Bieber. I still remember some of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey. Baby, baby. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, you may have expected our other vice president to be up here tonight as well, but as you already know, he's an overachiever and we cannot have him up here too many times. Enough about Arian. We have some pretty cool statistics we would like to share about the rest of our class. We are sending friends off to all corners of the world from BOCES. Holla! Can't forget about Tulane. We have three classmates heading to foreign countries to study abroad and 66 students are headed to SUNY's. East Hampton High School will be represented at four Ivies. Three trade schools. And 67 other universities around the country. Along with some pretty incredible studious friends, we also have some super talented and well-rounded classmates. There are 12 student athletes heading to compete in various divisions. I personally cannot wait to watch college sports such as baseball, football, soccer, swimming, and volleyball to see some familiar faces. About 10 students will be entering the workforce as well-rounded adults, and two brave students will be joining the armed forces. While we love bragging about the class of 2023 so much, we have to give credit where credit is due. None of any of this would be possible without the unwavering support that the East Hampton High School community has given us, nor me and Ella would not be up here without Student Association, who, if you don't know, runs a lot of the events around this place. It's been my pleasure leading, and I just want to give a quick shout out to Ms. McNish and Ms. Barbaretti, who, without that, nothing would happen. <laughs> From the top dogs and admin all the way down to the freshmen, they have all played a huge role in making our high school experience very special. They have also ensured that we will be at least somewhat ready for what comes next. We offer our sincerest thanks for shaping us into the young adults we are today. 
Even beyond the East Hampton High School community, many of us have come from different places. While some of us have only made a short trip up the road to come from middle school to high school, others have immigrated from other countries and come from other states. Even with all the different backgrounds, we have all come together create, to create a beautiful melting pot of wonderful humans whom I'm proud to cross the stage with tonight. From Amagansett School, John Marshall, SPG, Montauk, OLH, Wayne Scott, and foreign countries, we are all coming to the end of a 13 year long journey. And we sure are all celebrating. It was only a couple weeks ago that we were camping out in the staff parking lot, playing cornhole, manhunt, and partaking in lots of reminiscing and savoring every last moment we had together. Some of my favorite memories throughout the year were the senior sunrise, getting overly competitive in March Madness, which we won, starting up our very first broadcasting system, shout out Quicko, and ending the year with our very own senior banquet. Students, I'm talking to you now. Please look around. Whether you're looking at your favorite sign teacher's bald head, who may or may not have inspired you to pursue medicine, <coughs> Rubito, I see you over there, or a family member who pushed you when you couldn't push yourself, you're looking at the people who love you most. At this time, students, say thank you. Now look to either side of you. Among us, there'll be future doctors, pilots, lawyers, policemen, educators, and many more. But I personally cannot wait for the day that Gabby, Arian, and I open up a cardiology practice together. Be proud of, yeah, yeah, we got some smart kids out there. Be proud of how far you have come since we first walked into the doors in August of 2019 for freshman orientation. We were just babies. You have all exceeded everyone's expectations, and we are so excited to see what you all have in store for the future. Congratulations to everyone. We love you, we will miss you, and we will see you at our 10-year reunion. All right, here goes the fun part. And now, without further ado, seniors, please rise. And please, move your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left. Seniors, don't forget to take your tassels off. And at this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce the East Hampton High School Class of 2023. 